Well, you can probably tell, but Classic Christmas is the name of this collection from our friends at Stamperia. And I will tell you that Teresa has done some absolutely beautiful projects. In fact, let me just show you one. Here is a card, and this is fun because it pops up just like that. Okay, lots of things going on. Please come play with us. Well, let me get into the items first. We'll go into the papers because that's always our base. These are eight by eight. And true to Stamperia's fashion, there are cutouts in there. In fact, goodness, just look at all of that. Beautiful things, wonderful greetings. And then there's also a papers on the back. There's more cutouts and more of the papers. Now, I pulled many of these out to show you in our uh, project, so we'll put that. There are also 38 die cuts. Now, these are on a heavy chipboard, and there's no white edge. They're cut right next to the art, so that's nice. And then we have some rub-ons, so it's a really nice collection of a classic Christmas look. Okay, let's get into our projects. And here is the first one. I guess we can get a little bit closer. Thank you, Houston. And with this, Teresa has done what she probably considers a more simple card. And let me show you why. This is our five by six and a half inch card base. And she has taken this sheet, which looks just fine, but boy, it really gets dressed up, doesn't it? In fact, let me wiggle this a little bit. and You can see the sparkling on that tree. Well, this was simply glued to the front of the card, pressed down, turned over, and trimmed to fit. That works beautifully. Then she did add the ribbon, and that ribbon comes from the red collection, and that is a crepe ribbon, and I just love that kind. And Teresa also added um, the greetings is uh, one of the cutouts. She did foam tape that up. But look down here. Do you see along that beautiful border? Well, those are dazzles. They are thin line dazzles. And it comes from this collection, which has black, white, gold, and silver. And it just fits perfectly into the empty areas of that piece of cardstock. So that's nice. Now she did, whoops, because I, I forgot to tell you, she did um, ink the edges and she used the blending brush. And this is uh, Velvet Fawn. In fact, she uses Velvet Fawn pretty regularly. And you see that that's just been, uh, just tip your uh, blending brush into it and then just rub right along the edge. Now you do want to have it on a craft mat, of course, to protect that surface. Now the other thing that she did is in her tree. Now remember all those sparkles? Well, those come from our jewel dazzles. There are 540 circles on each sheet and uh, just placing those. In fact, a jewel picker does a good job of that. And then she also used our star dazzles, uh, coming gold and silver for the top of that tree. Just really dresses it up, doesn't it? And then she used Hunky Dory's gold studs. Uh, they are self-adhesive to go in the center of that bow. That worked nicely. Now on the inside of her card, okay. Remember on the front, she used, oh, about to there. Well, on the inside, she took that rest of that piece and glued it in, put the dazzles along the bottom edge, and then she added one of the cutouts, and there's just tons of them in that book. Here it is, with love for a happy Christmas. You can tell that's a very vintage, very classic look. She did add some of the die cuts, and then this is from the rub-ons. In fact, let me just pull this out to show you. There's some holly and there's some holly. So she's just rubbed them on and it is just a perfect, perfect look. The rub-ons um, the rub -ons that are out these days, both Stamperia and 49 and Market, are not the rub-ons of yesterday. These work flawlessly and perfectly and you just get a wonderful look. So that's nice to know. Okay, that is our first card, just a beautiful one. And we're going to go to our second one, and here it is. Okay, now this has got several things going on, and let me show you. Now, Teresa has covered the front of her card with this cardstock, and it's all very 
vintage recipe, so very fun. She did trim it down slightly smaller than the card and glued that in place. Now she used to make these pockets. Those pockets are made with this paper. That's neat. So you can see that she's just cut them at an, at an angle there to fit right in. And she glued them and wrapped them right around, actually wrapped them right around the uh, first base paper. And that way uh, they're not going to come out because you wanna leave them so that they're not glued so that these will flip in and out, okay? So that's what she has done. But she did also add some border dazzles. And let me hold this up so you can see the shine that's going on. And that just works beautifully along the edges of that uh, cardstock. So that works. Now, these pieces are part of the cutouts, as you would imagine. And here is that other sheet. So we have a Merry Christmas, and we have the uh, holly and berries right there. Now these just have a piece of the red ribbon. In fact, that red ribbon is used uh, in several projects here. So this is the same one again. And she did staple this. She used a mini stapler. You can just glue it on the back or you can staple it however you like. And that way you can use those to kind of pull them out. Now the greetings, is one of the die cuts. And again, as I said, they're on a chipboard base. She did uh, foam tape that up and did put two of those gold studs. She used those on the first card, but she also used them on this card. So that worked nicely. Okay, let me tuck these back in and we'll go to the inside of our card. There you go, see how that works? <laughs> now the inside, okay. And what I think is fun is that you've got lots of muted colors here, but in the back, you also have the muted colors, but you have those pops of red, which is just really nice to see. Now this is using another of the papers. It happens to be this one. And she did use the point set apart and has glued that into her card. And let me see. Oh, she did mat this. I think you can see right underneath it. So she used the Christmas Aglow cardstock to mat this particular piece on. Doesn't that work nicely? And then she placed it. And then she did the same border dazzles that she used on the front, on the top and the bottom. And then also another one just inside the paper. Again, it just dresses it up. Now, that beautiful stocking is right here. And she simply glued that in place. And then this uh, never a Christmas morning, never the old year ends, but someone thinks of someone, old days, old times, old friends. That's one of the cutouts uh, in the um, book. And then the star is, in fact, there are many of these stars in the die cuts. That was just glued down also. So all of these things are flat. I also noticed that she's got a little knotted ribbon right there, again, out of the red set, and that just is beautiful. I really think that this could be a card front, and that's true of many of Teresa's creations. Okay, let's get to our next one. And our next one is really a different style of card than I think I've seen before, even from our uh, Miss Teresa. So this has a belly band, I'm going to slip it off. You can see that giant die cut on top. I'm just going to slip that one. And then this is going to open like this and then like that. Really nice, really different. So I'm going to set the belly band aside just for a moment and let's focus on how do we create this card. Okay, so let me show you. And this begins with an 11 inch by six and a half inch piece of white cardstock or whatever you want. Now from the left, you're gonna go in two and a quarter inches and score it, five and a half inches and score it, and that's really the middle line, and then nine and a half inches and score it. Then these are going to be folded like this. So a mountain, valley, and another valley. And that way you can push this in and fold that over just like that. 
So it's going to make a narrower card, but it will still fit in our five by six and a half inch envelopes. So that, that works well. Now, what Teresa did is to cover these with the papers. And I kind of want to show you um, how she did that so far as um, what gets covered. You can see that she alternated patterns on the front, these pieces that you're going to see on the front, going with a dark red, a cream, and then a dark red. So that's a good thing to remember. So we're just focusing on the papers now. Then she also put that same red with the trees on the inside. Okay, so it's there. It's on both sides of that piece as well as this piece. Then on this one, she's got one sheet that she's done part of it here and then the other part of it right there. And those are all just down flat. Now all of them, again, just to add a little bit of sparkle, okay. She has used the um, straight line dazzles and this comes in a collection, I think this is the bright, yeah, straight line colorful collection. So there's just lots and lots of colors in this. And obviously, she's used red here. And the red is also on this piece. So a wider one at the bottom, a narrower one at the top. Then she went into the cutouts and you can see there's one there and, and just notice that it is overlapping this one. This one's slightly smaller. And so that works nicely. And then she backed this one with another one and then added a little holly. Everything is flat. And then as I open this, there are more cutouts and another cutout. And then this absolutely beautiful uh, die cut. And that just overlaps right there. So there's plenty of room in this uh, design to have something going on up there. Same thing there. So as you fold it, everything gets hidden. Speaking of getting hidden, how about that belly band? Well, the belly band is going to start with a piece of cardstock that's nine inches by one and seven eighths. Now, when you cut that out of the cardstock, you're going to want to place it around the card, but you do want to make sure that it will slip nicely, okay? So it's going to slide and slip and not get caught on anything. So you don't want it too tight. Okay. So you will put some, uh, she used half inch wide extra sticky tape on the back of one of the tabs and then position it like so. And then as you can see, bring it over, Teresa put another of the uh, printed card stock and then more of the straight line dazzles. And then on the front of it, there is this large die cut. And isn't that nice? And then she's also added one of the little stars right here, right there. So this is going to get, um, this is foam taped onto the belly band. Let me bring the card back. Okay. So while it has this classic vintage look, you are still also getting uh, creativity and some shine by adding those dazzles. Speaking of which, they're the straight line of top and bottom, top and bottom. And that just adds really nicely. Okay, we have one more, and it's the one that I showed you in the beginning. And this again has that classic vintage feel, but it pops up like so. Isn't that interesting? Just a really easy pop-up. Okay, so in this, Teresa started with this, a piece of cardstock. She did use the solid again. This is the uh, Christmas Aglow. And you can see it has reds in there, but it also has this maroon that is what she has used on this card. So you start with a piece that is nine and three quarters by five. Then you're gonna do some scoring because we need to make that a platform for the card to, to rest on. So going from the left side, half inch, score it. One and a quarter, score it. Two and a half, score it. 
three and a quarter, score it. Then you're going to take your extra sticky tape and place it on the flap. And all of these are valley folds, as you can see, all four of them. Now what you'll do is you will fold this, okay, just after the score line, and then fold this under, remove the tape, and press it down. When you do it that way, you will get this piece that will be perfectly positioned because you don't want it going in like this or out like that. You want it perfectly in there. So once again, on the second score line, you fold it, remove the liner from the extra sticky tape, and then simply press it down. And that will get you a piece that's perfectly in place, okay? Now, with that piece perfectly in place, you will cover the inside of the card and each of those layers, okay? And you can see that she's chosen just an overall background. That's nice. Then there is another piece that you need to create, and this is measuring five by four inches. Again, you're gonna do a couple scoring, so at one half of an inch, and at one and a quarter inches, again, these are going to be mountain folds. And you're going to put extra sticky tape on this fold, and then you're going to put it here. And what happens is that this part is going to be attached right here. This is going to get folded and is going to rest on the inside of the card, just like so. Okay, so once everything is stable, that's going to work quite perfectly, okay? Then that's when we come back with um, another paper, again, for out here and here. So all of the surfaces are covered, okay? Then this is when Teresa goes into the die cuts. So this one, may the joy and love of Christmas make all your dreams come true. That's going to get right there and that's foam taped up but besides it the holly excuse me the um uh, poinsettia is going to go let me see i've got several poinsettias here okay here we've got one that's going to go down there we have another that's going to go here just like so those get down flat and then teresa did use these crystals so they're clear, but don't they add a nice look because they're faceted? This is the Hunky Dory Crystal Shimmer Diamond Sparkles, that's the whole name. And then she's got a little a bit of the holly um, down in the corner. There you go, right there. And then a ribbon, of course, from the red ribbon set. Now, if you're wondering, okay, so where do you write your message? Well, let's go to the back. And Teresa has done one of the cutouts and this wonderful Santa is right there, very classic and old world. Another of the um, holly, in fact, there's two pieces. There's that one, and then this little tiny one on top of it, you can see right there. And that takes care of it. Now this, this is just a, uh, an indicator for us as we um, store all of the images. So that tells me that this is an October 1st webisode. Okay, so not only do you have this, now this you can write wherever you like. Um, you could have a blank one in there, that would work too. And then this will pop up as I said. So that's what we have. And this is a wonderful collection. This is Stamperia's Classic Christmas. So you've got the eight by eight papers. You have the rub-ons. And then you also have these 38 die cuts. Now, um, all the ones that I've shown you have been pulled out of this package. And look, you still have a ton of them. So that's really nice. Everything coordinates. Everything is perfect.
Okay, I want to thank you for joining us. I want to thank Teresa for once again, as always, making unique and beautiful projects for us. Uh, if you are watching us on YouTube, we'd like you to uh, like us. <laughs> we'd like you to comment, please. Tell me what you think. And then also subscribe. We'll get you on our schedule so that you can see all of our webisodes. And uh, all of the projects have instructions down below. So just click on them. You can see the instructions. You can print them out, and that works nicely. We also have a money saver. It's also on the right side of your screen. We want to give you a bit of a discount if you'd like to buy the whole collection, and that works very nicely for all of us. Um, I, as I said, I want to thank you for joining us and for being part of our Paper Wishes family. Bye-bye.